Welcome. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to generate a least squares regression line. I have some test scores here from a group of students. We want to find out if there is a correlation between the two tests. We need to set up a set of axes where on the vertical axis is the response variable, which is this case test 2. On the other axis, the explanatory variable is test 1. It's important that we actually do a plan like this so we've got a clear picture as to what we are doing. So it's time to create a new document. So press number 1 for new and then add four list and spreadsheets application. In the first column, we're going to type in test 1, which is the explanatory variable. In the second column, test 2, which is the response variable. And then we enter the data in. Once the data has been entered in, we're going to press Control i and then Add a Data and Statistics page. On the bottom to click to add variable, we're going to put in the explanatory variable, which is Test 1. On the left hand side, we click Test 2, which is the response variable. And as you can see, the scatterplot has been formed. If I press Menu, and then option number four, analyze, and then number six, we can calculate the regression line, the least squares regression line. I choose A plus BX, and you can see the result is come up where we've got the equation and the R squared value. If I change the float settings, I can actually control the amount or the number of decimal points, places that are displayed using the float settings. Also, if those the R squared value isn't coming up, if I choose menu and settings and diagnostics tick, that has to be on. If I take it off and press OK, you can see the R squared value isn't there. By pressing menu and six though, I'm going to put the tick back on and press OK to display it. What I could do is also insert by pressing Control i again a calculator application instead and that will also calculate the least squares regression line and so by pressing menu and six statistics and then option either three or four will help us but i'm going to go four a plus bx x list will be test one the explanatory variable and then the Y list will be test 2, the response variable. If I press OK, the results on the calculator page will again be displayed. Notice, the fact, I've got the float 3 setting for, and so A, B, R squared and R are displayed as such. But if I go to document settings again and change the float settings, I'm going to choose float, press OK, then up arrow key, and press enter and enter again the results are displayed to more decimal places that brings this video to an end a hint sheet is available at the link in the description below thank you for watching and see you next time bye